<laughs> Gotta get vertical. Our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the US in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to just outside Fairbanks, Alaska. We are on our way to the Chena. Is that how you say it? I think China. China. I heard China in town. We are on our way to the China Hot Springs for a very special occasion. We have splurged a little on a package there because it is Mike's 30th birthday today. 30 years ago, I was born and Today, we are getting to celebrate it in Alaska, but even better, we have an ability to go to the hot springs. Not only do we get to enjoy the hot springs, but because we are staying at the resort, we also will be in a good place to see the Northern Lights, which mm -hmm. should be visible tonight. There are four on the forecasted scale and we're pretty far north. So I think there's a good chance that we'll see them, if not today, at least in the next couple days. So yeah. that's really amazing as well. Without further ado, let's head to those hot springs. Go, go, go. We have officially made it to the hot springs and checked in for our hotel room for the night. We actually already got our massages done as well because check-in was at four and the first massage was at four. So it was kind of like rapid fire itinerary started right away. So we are all relaxed and ready to go enjoy the hot springs. But before we do, we have a couple other things that we're going to check out on this kind of resort area complex. We have a few things that we're actually able to do while we're here. One of them is the ice museum where we can get a frozen drink that should be really great. And then after that, we have dinner scheduled and then we can either go into the hot springs tonight or spend time in them tomorrow. We may be able to see the Northern Lights again tonight, which is so cool. We're able to request a Northern Lights wake up call where if they appear, the front desk will actually give you a call, let you know to get up and get outside and check them out. So a lot going on and a lot to be excited about while we're here. But before we get the rest of the day started, let's first give you a quick room tour. So when you're at the hot springs, it, you can just come for the day and enjoy a massage, the hot springs, everything that this resort has to offer. You don't have to stay the night. But if you choose to, there's a couple different lodgings that you can choose from. We are here in Moose Lodge. So this is your average room at the Moose Lodge. Right here is the front door and immediately to the right is the bathroom area. So you have the sink that separate some um, your typical free shampoos goodies all that stuff and then you have your own little room here with the toilet and the shower and then continuing away from the bathroom is the main area of the hotel room now we definitely have our stuff everywhere already so don't mind the mess but here you go we have two double beds a dresser, and best of all, a little festive goodie bag because we did book with a package to stay here. It was kind of the best thing for your buck and we went with the cheapest one, which was the romantic getaway package. They give you a little welcome basket. So we have M&M's, Hershey gold nugget bars, and cashews. That's what these ones are, right? Yeah. Okay. And as I rip through this rather aggressively. Two champagne glasses and a bottle of champagne, along with a bunch of healthy stuff, but we don't really care about that. But if you did care about that, we got some grapes, orange, pear, apple. apple. Ooh, cheese, I like cheese. So we'll have a little feast after our dinner that's included in the package as well. Very excited to come back to the room and eat all these M&Ms after. Let's see what the view is like. Okay, we get a tree. And this is the view from our room. Some of the pretty autumn trees and then the main lodge building where we checked in, so not bad. Although we don't have a clear view from our window, you can see the Northern Lights without having to go on one of the tours that they offer here. There is a activity center that you can watch them from. And then there's also a short hike up a path where there's a cabin area that you can sit in and be warm while you scope out the Northern Lights. Which they call the Aurorium. 
Oh, that's cute. And now that we've gotten the room tour all set, we are going to probably wash off because we're covered in essential oils right now and then head to the ice museum to get our frozen apple martini. So we are freshly showered and heading to the activity center where you can book all sorts of tours, including horseback riding, ATV riding, hydroelectric, green energy one, a little bit of everything. But we are walking over to go to our ice museum tour. This is all made of ice by a husband and wife ice carving team that have competed and won awards and everything in it here is just so beautiful. So this is Whoa. the ice room that you can stay in. They put a mattress over there, but this is an ice room that you could sleep in if you wanted. It's $600 a night, but really awesome. They did tell us that if you do get too cold, you do have an extra hotel room at the regular lodge to spend the night in, but this is way too cool, figuratively and literally. Whoa, this room's even cooler. This is wild. Oh, that's like the logo with the Aurora and how the lights move through it. Oh, you got a little chair. Would you sleep here? I would do it. The we slept time. in the van at 16 degrees that is overnight. True. Give it me is enough blankets and we'll be fine. And how many degrees is it in here? 23.8. Uh, so it's actually a little bit warmer than... Our uh, coldest night in the van. I don't know. That's how cold it was outside. I don't know how cold it got inside the van, but I think we could do it. Uh, that's when you get a nice alcove to keep you even colder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look at the, um, the gargoyles. That is too cool. So this is an ice museum. There's lots of beautiful sculptures all over, in addition to the hotel room that is back here. And they also have a bar with a very famous drink. And we got two drink tickets that we're gonna have to go cash in right now. But before we go to the bar that's right there, we need to go into the igloo. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're in an igloo. And it's tall enough for me to stand up. Oh, there's a nice echo in here. Super epic. We're in an igloo in Alaska in a ice museum, slash bar, slash hotel, slash hot springs. <laughs> you literally have to crawl that stoop on me. All right, so the apple teeny comes in a two-piece ice martini glass, the actual cup, and then the stem and base are made separate and then put together, but it is all ice and we're going to get it and freeze our hands off. We're sitting on ice stools that are covered in fur so they're not super freezing on you. Thank you. Cheers. Happy birthday. Oh, that clinked really nicely. Cheers to 30. How is it? It's good. Very cold. Yeah, it's nice. It tastes like Green Jolly Ranchers and a lot of vodka. So right now we are in the workshop where they make all the cool glass sculptures But we are getting ready to leave and need to finish these because there's a very special thing we have to do with them at the end I'm trying to chug mine so we can break it. Almost done. One more sip. Chug it. Chug it. Oh, it's chug strong. It. Yeah. It was a heavy pour. Okay <laughs> What is that face? That was strong. That was just vodka at the end there. With the drinks, once you finish them and you come outside, they said that you should break them and make a wish and smash it on the ground. And the more pieces, the better chance your wish has of coming true. And it's my birthday, so it seems like I'm double dipping on, wishes. on wishes, but let's see. All right. I gotta come up with a good wish, because I only get one. You ready? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get vertical. <laughs> so Heather has a lot of alcohol. I thought I drank more, but Look apparently that. That's not. Quite a bit. And this is a strong, a strong pour. <laughs> College, you would be so disappointed. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't even recognize me. This is the end. You're gonna yeah. chug. Okay. I've been chugging. What do you think? A chug means you finish it. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. What'd you wish for? I forgot. Did you actually? Yeah. I I thought you slammed it really quickly. <laughs> I forgot to make a wish, but I just made a wish now, so hopefully, you know, it all works out. <laughs> yes. So we are going to leave the ice castle now and head over and get dinner, which came with our stay, Yay. which is really cool. So we're starving. Um, yeah, super excited because we were both really hungry. And we and both just basically took the equivalent of two shots on an empty stomach. So yeah, we need there some is food. there is a lot of vodka in that 
apple teeny. Um, but it was really cool. The, the green was really pretty in the ice and that whole area was just really, really pretty. So I'm glad we got a chance to do that. It's listed as a must do thing in the Fairbanks area is to come and check out the ice museum. So glad we got a chance to do it and now we're ready to eat. So we are back in our hotel room now. We are absolutely stuffed after our dinner. Unfortunately, they were rather backed up, so we had to wait about two hours before we could get seated, and we had to wait in the lobby. So our night has quickly dwindled here, but the hot springs are open for another hour, so we're gonna hurry up and get changed, run in there so that way we can experience the hot springs at night. Thankfully, we have until 1 p.m. tomorrow to be able to check out, so we'll get some more hot spring action tomorrow, but we definitely wanna soak up as much of the hot springs as possible tonight, so we're Get changed and head down there now. Dinner was really pleasant. We ate a ton, so of course now is the best time to throw a swimsuit on and go get in the hot springs, but it's something we've been looking forward to and I'm really excited to go check it out. There's a little bit of rain coming down, which I think will actually be a really cool vibe for the hot springs, cool us off a little bit. The temperature in there is around 106 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's gonna be really nice. It is definitely cold outside of the water, but very nice in the water, so we are going to stay as deep in as we can. <laughs> we don't really get a good look at this during the daylight, so it'll be very interesting to come back tomorrow morning and see what it looks like. But it is all lit up with different colors. So it is really nice out here. We're definitely gonna enjoy it tonight. The rain is really cool. And we're going to come back tomorrow during the day and get a better look, but tonight we're just relaxing. After a nice soak in the hot springs, we have one, well, I guess two more things left to do before it turns midnight and it is officially the end of Mike's birthday. First being cake. So I had to hide this thing in our mini fridge while Mike was distracted at Walmart. I went the opposite direction, bought it, ran it out, put it in our fridge, came back in, met up with him in the store and acted like nothing happened. So I managed to hide his 30th birthday cake. And then the second thing we have to do is drink our champagne. Oh, we have to open it too. Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too. Ooh, we have 10 minutes. It is 11.47, so we have to eat dive into this cake now before it's no longer Mike's birthday. Because we are in a hotel room, we are not going to light the candles to save yes. ourselves from burning this place down. And setting off the smoke detector, potentially the water sprinklers, floor evacuation. We'll save that for another time. <laughs> but it is a lovely cake and Heather told me it's Funfetti, which is my favorite. So I'm really excited to dive in. This is my 30th birthday and it has been so amazing. All of 29 has been absolutely fantastic and this has been an incredible journey the last year that Heather and I have gotten to go on and I am so grateful to all of you for joining us and supporting us through our YouTube channel and our very bad attempt at Instagram <laughs> but we really appreciate all of the comments and all of you watching the videos and this has been an incredible year and I'm so excited for what we have coming up and just thank you all this is so much more than we could have ever imagined and i get to spend my 30th birthday in alaska doing something that i never thought we would be doing and it is the best thing that i could imagine so thank you all and we are going to dive into our cake and champagne yay that went much better than i thought it would bathtub champagne and tomorrow morning we're going to be up bright and early to hit the hot springs grab breakfast and start another amazing day in alaska so we will check in with you tomorrow morning you belong in a magazine you belong on a street lamp post you belong holding my hand next to me you belong in the night sky shining bright like a big old star you belong holding my hand next to me Good morning from the hot springs. This was much needed after that bottle of champagne last night and all the food that we ate. A relaxing slow morning is exactly what we need. The hot springs are actually really pretty. We didn't really get to see much of them last night because it was so dark and I'm so happy that we came back this morning. It's suddenly covered in flowers which I imagine during the summer is even more vibrant but even on a fall day those sunflowers and the fall leaves that are surrounding this area are just so pretty. We got up a little bit later than we were planning on it. We made it's, it to breakfast. Yes, we did uh, make it over to breakfast, had a nice breakfast which was covered by our package stay. Uh, came over to the hot springs which we had access both the first day and the second day so that was nice. And today is 
kind of a classic fall day where it's overcast, um, but the leaves are still really pretty. It's a little bit of a drizzle, so it makes it a cool experience here in the hot springs. Wrapped up with our hot springs adventure for this morning, headed back to our hotel. Check out is at 1 p.m. and we have an hour to get a shower. Baby, that I guarantee. Feels good to be back in our van, as nice as the hot springs was, and headed back down to Fairbanks. It was really a cool experience to be able to do the massage, the hot spring soak, as well as having dinner and the ice museum tour. So it was a really great time and I really enjoyed getting up there for my birthday. I'm really grateful to have Mike in my life and to have celebrated his 30th birthday in such a really awesome place, not only at the Hot Springs, but in Alaska as a whole. And I'm very excited to see what the next 30 plus years bring with us together. Hopefully some Northern Lights because that's what we're chasing tonight. We'll see y'all tomorrow.